but the parents don't approve of this relationship. The search continues tonight for a 12-year-old Omaha girl who police now believe might have run off with her boyfriend who's almost twice her age. The trouble started in December. Now, Pa Koo is missing. Her family and investigators are worried about her safety. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. She's still believed to be in Omaha with her boyfriend, 23-year-old Ata Gurr. But every time OPD goes to a house they think he's at, he is not there. Now their leads have gone dry. Reporter Maya Sines is on the story tonight and has more. Now, Paul Koo has been missing since January 9th. Even though Koo is considered a runaway, Omaha police are asking the public for help in bringing Koo home to her family. Omaha police continue the search for missing 12-year-old Pa Koo, who they believe is with her 23-year-old boyfriend. She was last seen in her home near 51st in Maple on January 9th and is believed to have left voluntarily. At a press conference Thursday afternoon, Omaha police said Koo has run away several times since December. Her age and her behaviors of what she, who she associates with and um, her past prior runs, um, her behavior puts her at risk. Omaha police believe Koo is hiding with her boyfriend, a thogger, whom she's been found with before. According to police, Gurr has also been missing from work since January 12th and was kicked out of his parents' home. The parents don't approve of this relationship, and it's, um, I don't believe that even his parents approve of this relationship. Um, so it's not something that the parents are condoning. Um, it's a matter of finding her and being able to get her cooperation. OPD says for Koo's safety, she needs to be found. If there's a reason she doesn't want to be at home, we'd like to talk to her about that as well. Um, the, the biggest thing for her is making sure that she's safe and that people are concerned about her. Sean Miller with Youth Emergency oh, Services says, says the runaway issue yes. in Omaha is concerning, which is why their organization focuses on helping young teens break their runaway cycle. Yeah. They're a very hidden population. They don't always tell you what's going on with them. Um, so it's not something that, uh, you know, you get right away. It's, it's something that comes with after you build a rapport and a, and a trust with this young person. Now, Koo's parents filed a restraining order against a thogger due to his age in comparisons to their daughters. He's not considered a suspect right now, but if Koo is found with him, he could face charges for harboring a missing juvenile. Reporting from the studio, Maya Symes, 3 News Now.